guy. He is, you know, seems to be, uh, at least from a distance, extraordinarily humble. Uh, also, perhaps most impressive, and probably why he was given the recognition, is simply that he is willing to take on the established and entrenched uh, bureaucrats in the Vatican, uh, within the College of Cardinals, within the Vatican Bank that re- really has some serious scandals. Uh, he does not seem to want to look past them, but rather hold up the, the cold light of reality and, and say these things must change. And, you know, we, we may come back in five or ten years or however long James he serves as Pope and realize that this is a real game changer of, the, of a pontiff, uh, somebody that had a real vision of really returning the church back, which I think he does, you know, to its roots of serving the poor and speaking out on, on social issues, and uh, very interesting guy. And we haven't seen the uh, the last of him, I think, by any means. So I, I think his selection was a very good one, and certainly uh, you know appropriate for you know what what he's done since he became part of. We've got Dr. Jack Caravelli joining us today here on our Wednesday edition of the World Famous Cheeky Chick Choir Show, and. Uh, this this big story, I guess, that is, uh, and I I wasn't real sure why this was going to be a big deal, but apparently it is. This selfie thing with Obama, um, are are the are the conservatives just and the some of the conservative media just running out of ideas to throw at this guy? <laughs> Boy, if, if that's all they've got, then they're really in trouble. James, uh, <laughs> you know. The, uh, w- w- whether he's doing a selfie or not, I, I just can't, can't find a lot of interest or time in any of it. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't in the picture, so I have, have even less interest. Uh, and, you know, not, not that there's any reason I would be. Uh, but the, you know, Obama, well, look, Obama's done a good job of shooting himself in the foot politically in recent months with the debacle on health care. Uh, if you want to take a selfie with somebody, you know, knock himself out. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, if they want to go after him, I, I, I could probably give him a list of about 25 issues of somewhat greater importance than uh, what he is or isn't <laughs> doing on, on a plane or sitting next to people or <laughs> chatting up George Bush on the, on, on the flight from South Africa or any of those things. So, look, you know, let, let, them, let them enjoy the holiday and... Let's think of some other important things that, uh, that, that we can really beat up, beat them up for. <laughs> We've got Dr. Jack Caravelli with us today here on the big broadcast, and uh, this uh, this this deal with the um, with the budget. We kind of talked a little bit about that earlier. What do you think is um, the 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 deal here? Because it seems like uh, folks like McConnell say that. Uh, to vote against the Ryan plan, uh, you know the, the 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 Tea Party seems to be turning on John Boehner. Um, the Drudge Report says that Boehner is going off on right. Um, it, it it it's this this de- this budget deal is supposedly ridiculous, is is what some conservative groups are are saying. Um, why why is this such a hotbed issue? Well, look, you know. Um you know, the, the, the Republicans really have an opportunity, uh, and if they're, you know, politically, because the, the, the thing of substance, what, what has hurt millions of Americans and confuses even more and is still not, you know, anywhere close to being where it should be is the Health Care Act. Uh, it, it is really, in, it is a disaster. It, it may never be fixed. But, but, you know, beyond that, the Republicans really have to find out, you know, what what is their voice, who's going to be their champion, who's going to speak for them. And, you know, I think James has we discovered or discussed before, the, you know, the there are fringe elements uh, of the uh, other Republican Party, you know, that, that really do not accept the fact that from time to time to move any agenda forward, including one they may have an interest in, you know, you, you need to find a way to compromise, uh, you know, live the fight another day, uh, because the, the entire, in my view, I'm a political scientist, for better or worse, the, you know, my reading of, of our history of what 
you know, this nation intended was that there'd be plenty of fights and disagreements on politics, and there certainly have been, you know, throughout our entire history, going back to the very start. But at the end of the day, people that love the country, all of us, regardless of you, need to find a way to m move the issues forward, compromise, and as I said, live to fight another day. And I think that's exactly what we saw from Paul Ryan and uh, Patty Murray. I think if you asked either of them whether they loved what they did, they would probably say no, but they each realized that to, you know, they had a duty beyond their political agendas, which was to serve the nation. We, we call the people elected and the people in, co you know, in Congress public servants. And, to, you, know, to, you know, for them to do justice to that title, you know, at times, there, there needs to be a give and take. So, you know, I am very interested in what Boehner said, and I think that, you know, all of the uh, political pundits, you know, in the center, left, right, do us all as citizens a favor when they point out some of these things, including the fact that you can have some, some fierce views, left, right, or center, but we're all Americans, and for the national interest, you know, to move this thing forward, you know, you can't have people that are just um, uh, throwing themselves on, uh, you know, on spikes just because they don't get 100% of what they want. So, you know, I mean, I, I, I appreciate what Boehner is saying, and, and I think he's right. And at some point, if the Republicans are going to really be a party to be reckoned with nationally, they they got to find a path forward that, that, that is not a time war in every state where you've got a Tea Party member that either that doesn't like some incumbent. We've got Dr. Jack Caravelli joining us today, and of course, uh, the the good doctor will be back with us in the new year. Uh, and we are going to be uh, running uh, some some best of shows and and different things uh, next week and and heading into the new year. So we will talk to the doctor for the last time today in the new year but before we uh before we leave uh jack give me your highlights of this year as far as news and politics go and uh where we're headed in the new year well you know as it seems to be the case overseas you know the focus james was that it's a great question uh certainly in the middle east uh we have this interim agreement with iran we haven't uh, spoken much about that uh, that's potentially good news, but the devil's in the details. We've got six months to figure out if it works or not. Uh, you know, a, a mess still in Syria. It's a it, it's a disaster in uh, in many ways. Uh, you know, we've seen both Russia and China resurgent, uh, and in various ways challenging uh, U.S. interests. That's something that's probably going to be with us through certainly into 2014. Uh, so, I mean, we as a nation looking at the world, you know, still have plenty of, uh, of challenges and, and frankly problems ahead. And, uh, you know, we've maybe been luckier than we deserve this year, but, you know, next year there's going to be a lot of tests and, you know, one can only hope that, you know, this administration is able to finally, you know, get it back together a little bit and, you know, may, maybe advance some of those issues anyway. Well, let's say uh, it's it's a it's a great time, and uh, I'll tell you as we as we head into the new year, uh, looking forward to doing more stuff with you, uh, Doctor. And uh, thanks for being with us, Jack. It's it's been fun, and uh, looking forward to chatting with you a lot in the new year, my friend. Well, James, uh, the pleasure is mine.